Mastering Synthesis, Understanding Different Viewpoints in Debates. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to delve into an important skill in the realm of discussions and debates, the art of synthesis. This skill allows us to understand and appreciate different viewpoints in any conversation. Let's get started. Synthesis involves combining ideas to form a whole. In the context of a debate or discussion, this means taking different viewpoints, analyzing them, and then putting them together to create a more comprehensive understanding of the topic. Synthesis is not about agreeing or disagreeing with a viewpoint, but about understanding what each viewpoint brings to the table and how they contribute to the broader discussion. Now that we understand what synthesis is, let's break down the steps involved in synthesizing viewpoints during a debate. 1. Listen carefully. The first step to synthesizing viewpoints is to listen. Ensure you fully comprehend each speaker's arguments and ideas before moving to the next. 2. Note similarities and differences. Identify the common grounds and conflicting areas between each viewpoint. This will help you understand the connections and divergences. 3. Combine and create. This is where the magic of synthesis happens. From the similarities and differences, create a unified perspective that includes elements from all viewpoints. Let's do a practice run. Imagine a debate on whether online learning is effective. 1. Speaker A argues online learning is great because it offers flexibility. 2. Speaker B, however, believes it's ineffective due to lack of direct interaction with teachers. Our synthesized viewpoint might be, online learning provides flexibility but could be improved by incorporating more opportunities for direct teacher-student interaction. Mastering synthesis is crucial for developing critical thinking skills and becoming an effective participant in debates and discussions. So, keep practicing, keep synthesizing, and remember, the goal is to understand different viewpoints, not merely to agree or disagree. Until next time, happy learning.